if you want to know exactly what firefighters do when they arrive on scene, this is it. You have to expect the unexpected. Dearborn Heights Fire Captain Paul Nito says time is everything, so they have to be prepared. Okay, good. Good. Vista Maria is tearing down this building at the end of the month, so they figured they may as well put it to good use before then. They're letting the Dearborn Heights Fire Department tear down walls and knock out windows to get some real life experience of what they run into out in the field. The same materials that we would encounter on the fire scene would be found here. And it's not really cost effective for them to continuously put up drywall for us to keep breaking through and then another piece for us to break through again. So to actually be able to break through and feel what it's like to go through the actual wall is a little different than actual just simulation. We can fill it with smoke and to be in a large area with limited visibility, it's hard, it's hard to replicate that in training. Which is why this is crucial. They get the real life feel of a building while going through different drills, breaching through walls, a second story exit using the ladder, and if the ladder isn't there, they bail out. Uh, you can read about this, you can train uh, as far as read from books or trade magazines, uh, but it's not quite the same as actually putting into practice. Train our firefighters so they're ready to go and they can expect some uncertain things, which is what happens a lot at fire scenes. In Dearborn Heights, Kristen Pierce, the Now Detroit. They're our heroes. You and know, they their life every day. And imagine what they're doing there when they're climbing in and out of windows and stuff like that. And instead of fake smoke, they know it's real smoke right, and real yeah. flames and real floors giving away underneath them and things like that. So one of the most dangerous jobs on earth and so we just appreciate everything they Absolutely do. Absolutely incredible.